Hi, this is pre-algebra lesson 1-3, adding integers. In this lesson, we'll be able to add integers. What are integers again? Integers are numbers, whole numbers, um, including the negative numbers without the decimals in between. And zero, it includes zero. Let's look at explore it. Rain increases the height of water in a kiddie pool while evaporation decreases the height. The pool water level is currently 2 inches above the fill line. So if you look at this number line, the vertical number line, it has the integers from negative 4 to 4. Top of pool is 4, fill line is 0, and bottom of pool is negative 4. So um, we have a table here. Starting height of water is 2. The change in inches of water, if it has no change, zero, then final height of water is, you add two plus zero, is two. Starting height of water is two, we start here, and if the change of water is blank, it goes down to one instead of two. So from two, it goes down one. So the change of water is, going down represents, negative integer, so negative 1. So 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, okay? And 2 plus negative 2 is 0. So 2 minus 2 comes into 0 line. And 2 minus 3 is negative 1. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So we're looking at the change and the starting height of the water to get the final height of water. So let's look for patterns in the equations in the table so you can fill in the missing numbers. What are the patterns that you notice? Can you describe any relationship you notice? Well, the starting st height of the water is the same, right? Depending on the change in inches of water, the final height changes. How does it change? The sum of the positive numbers is always positive, right? When the absolute value of positive number is greater than the absolute value of a negative number, the sum is positive. Does that make sense? So what are the patterns when you add integers? If you add positive, and negative together, is it always going to be positive or negative? When does it become positive or negative? We want to answer that question. So we're going to think about absolute value. The, the absolute value means distance from zero, right? So if the distance from zero is greater for the positive, then your answer will be positive, right? Two is greater than one. Right? So the, the positive wins. So whatever is greater, the whatever distance is greater, wins. So we're going to talk about absolute value in this case. Okay? So the sum of the positive numbers is positive. But when the absolute value of the positive number is greater than the absolute value of the negative number. The sum is positive. What about the other way? When the absolute value of the negative number is greater than the absolute value of the positive number, the sum is negative. The sum of negative numbers is negative. Right? The sum of negative numbers would be negative. And also, let's note that absolute value is equal to distance from zero. Okay? 
Part B. Will the sum of 2 and negative 6 be a positive or negative number? You don't have to actually solve for it. Looking at the pattern that we discovered, do you know if it's going to be a positive or negative number? So, which absolute value is greater? Absolute value of 2 or absolute value of negative 6? Which is greater? Absolute value is of 2 is 2. And absolute value of negative 6 is 6. Is 6 greater or 2 greater? 6 is greater. So, the negative 6 wins. So your answer is going to be negative. Right? That is the pattern we discovered. When we apply the pattern we just discovered, we can predict that the sum of 2 and negative 6 will be negative because the absolute value of negative 6 is greater than the absolute value of 2. Okay? Let's look for relationships. Suppose the water level of, of the pool started at 2 inches below the fill line. The fill line here is 0. Suppose we started from here. Okay? Make a table to show the starting height of the water, the change in inches, and the new final height of the water. So we're going to make another table that looks like this. Okay. So let's make a table here. Starting height of water. Starting height of water is here. And change in inches water is in the middle and then we have final height of water okay and then we're gonna start from negative 2 instead of 2 and if we change 0 then what's the final height of water? Negative 2, it doesn't change, right? So if we start with negative 2 and subtract negative 1, what's the final height? Negative 2 plus negative 1, it's a greater negative. Negative 2, and then you go down 1 again, it's going to be negative 3. Negative 2 plus minus 2 is negative 2. You start with negative 2. Look at the graph. You start with negative 2. And you go down further, 2 blocks. Then you end with negative 4, right? The bottom of the pool. So you have negative 4. And since we re reached the bottom of the pool, let's stop here. Okay? Let's go to the next page. Example 1. Let's think about how we can use what we know about absolute value to add integers. Example 1. Add two negative integers. Nita wants to straighten a photo. She uses an app to adjust the tilt. What was the total tilt adjustment? So, she took a photo here, but it's not straight, right? This is uh, set at zero. That's the original photo. And if she adjusts by negative 4 degrees, she, she, she's moving and tilting and adjusting the photo. It kind of becomes straighter, but not straight enough. If, if she adjusts by another negative 6, so from negative 4, she went negative 6 again. Then now she has a straight photo here. 
okay? So the total tilt adjustment is on the left side, which is represented as negative side. Why is the total tilt adjustment negative, right? Let's look at the number line to represent the total tilt adjustment. So she starts with zero adjustment, no change. She tilts by negative four degrees, and then she tilts again negative six. So negative minus four and then minus six from zero will equal to minus 10, negative 10. So starting from zero, go down negative four, go down negative six again, and you end up at negative 10. That is your answer. That is the total change. So numerically, when you add negative and negative, which means negative 4 minus 6, uh, if you look at the absolute value, your distance from 0 becomes greater. You go further away from 0, and it's on the negative side. So it's going to be negative 10. The total tilt adjustment was negative 10. Okay? Let's look at try it. Dana recorded a temperature drop of 2 and a second temperature drop of 3 degrees. What is the total change in temperature? Let's fill in the blank and see if you can solve this by yourself. Come back when you're ready for answer. Okay, are you ready? So, where are we starting from? What integer represents the start? She recorded a temperature drop of 2 degrees. Negative 2. It drops means you go down. And temperature drop, another temperature drop of 3 degrees. So you're adding two negative numbers. Negative 2 plus negative 3, you go down further three times, and that's negative three, and that's negative four, and that's negative five. So two, negative two plus negative three should be negative five. And the, and the sign of the sun is negative. The total change in temperature is negative five. If you got all of them correct, great job. Convince me, would the sum of two positive integers be positive or negative? Sum of two positive integers. We talked about this earlier in the previous page, right? You add two positive numbers, and it should be positive. Let's explain why. Moving right on a number line from a positive number can only result in a positive number. So the sum of two positive integers would be positive. Okay, so you can think about the number line whenever you're confused. Let's look at the next example. Example two, add integers with different signs. Kara entered her chili recipe into the neighborhood cook-off. Nine judges rated each recipe with a thumbs up, which, represents, which is represented by plus one, or thumbs down, which is represented by the integer negative one. What was the final rating of Kara's recipe? So look at the picture right here. Chili cook-off. Chef is Kara. Score. Minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. So total, is it positive or negative? We're gonna, we're gonna in, uh, add two different signs, integers with two different signs, and see how it results. You can use the number line to represent, represent her final rating. You're gonna start with zero because she starts with no rating. She got five negative feedback, five, thumbs down, right? So you go down five, but then she got four positive feedback. So you go up four, and the final rating is negative one. So numerically, if you add 
integers that are different signs. One is positive, one is negative. You need to think about their absolute value, their distance from zero. Which distance is greater? So whatever distance is greater will be the distance that is left over. Obviously, if, they're, if the distance is the same, you end up with zero and they're opposite, uh, opposite integers, right? But as long as your digits are different, whichever distance is greater from zero uh, has a remaining of its distance. So you keep the sign for the greater absolute value. So five is greater than four. So you will get negative from the five, okay, from the negative five. So your final answer should be negative one. So the final rating for CARES recipe was negative one. Example three, identify additive inverses and opposite integers. Playing golf, my got a plus two on the first hole and negative two on the second hole. What is his combined score for the first two holes. So starting from zero, he got plus two and then he got negative two on the second hole. So you end up with zero. So this is when you have additive inverse or opposites. Okay, opposites are numbers that are different signs, but it has the same distance from zero. So two, positive two has distance of two from zero in a positive side. Negative two has the same distance of two from zero on the negative side. So if you add them together, you will end up with zero. That is called the additive inverse, okay? So his combined score for the first two holes is zero. So combining all the things all the patterns and rules we learned for adding integers. Let's look at try it and solve it by ourselves. Come back when you're ready for answer. Okay, finding the sum for each expression, part A, negative 66 plus 42. Notice that the signs are different. So you're gonna apply the rule of finding the greater absolute value. Absolute value of negative 66 is greater than absolute value of 42. That means you're gonna keep the negative sign. So negative 66 plus 42. You're gonna subtract 66 and 42 and get 24 and keep the negative sign from 66. So negative 24 is your answer, okay? Part B, negative 57 plus 57. They have the same distances from zero, so they're called additive inverse, or they're called opposites. And opposites always end up with zero when they're added up together. Part C, 29 plus negative 28. 29 has a greater distance from zero than negative 28. So you're going to keep the positive sign. So 29 minus 28 will be positive 1. Check your answers. If you got them all right, good job. You got this lesson uh, really well. Now let's wrap up this lesson. So remember that when adding integers with the same sign, you find the sum of the absolute values. When adding integers with different signs, you find the difference of the absolute values and keep the sign of the greater absolute value. Okay, this is how you will not make mistakes um, while solving for, um, for the integer addition and subtraction problems. All right, if you have any other questions, please ask Ms. Kang in class. Otherwise, we'll continue with the next lesson in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye.